today, Bluetooth is everywhere. Most people use it to connect phones to things like earbuds or car stereos. But it also connects keyboards, gaming controllers, and more. You'll find Bluetooth in TVs, cameras, and smart appliances like fridges and ovens. It's also used in medical devices like glucose monitors and pacemakers. And don't forget cars. Modern infotainment relies on Bluetooth for hands-free calls, streaming music, or directions from your phone. So how do you actually connect two Bluetooth devices? It's called pairing. Most devices automatically go into pairing mode when they are turned on for the first time. Pairing is like swapping contact information between your devices. They exchange security details and remember each other so the next time they pair automatically. Sometimes you'll have to enter a PIN or confirm a code on both screens to make sure the right devices are talking to each other. It's a safeguard to make sure that you do not connect to the wrong